Bubble sort is the simplest sorting algorithm that works by repeatedly swapping the adjacent elements only if they are in wrong order. What do I mean by it? Let's understand it with an example. We have an array of 5 elements 5, 3, 9, 0, and 1. We have to sort this array in ascending order using bubble sort. According to the definition, bubble sort repeatedly swaps the adjacent elements only when they are in wrong order. So, we have to traverse through the array one by one and check the condition. Now, let's start sorting the array. At the first iteration, we see 5. Now, we compare 5 with its adjacent element 3. Clearly, 5 is greater than 3. So, we swap them. Now, we move to the second element of the array. Again, we compare 5 with its next element that is 9. 9 is greater than 5. So, no swapping takes place. We move to the third element of the array. Now, we compare 9 with its adjacent element, 0. 0 is smaller than 9. So, swap. Now, again, compare 9 with its adjacent element, 1. 1 is smaller than 9. Swap. The largest element of the array is in its place. We have to repeat this process to all the elements. Again, at the second iteration, we see 3 and clearly 3 is smaller than 5, so no swaps. Now, we compare 5 with its adjacent 0. 0 is smaller, swap 0 and 5. Now, again compare 1. 1 is smaller than 5, so swap them. Now, the second iteration is stop. Note that we do not compare with 9, as we already know it is sorted. Now, Moving to the third iteration, we have 3 and 3 is greater than 0. So, we swap them. Next, we have 3 and 1. So, we swap. That's it. Third iteration stop since we know 5 and 9 are sorted. By looking at it, we can say the array is sorted but computer does not understand. So, the fourth iteration would continue. We see 0, it compares with 1. As clearly 0 is less than 1, no swapping takes place and the iteration is stopped. That's it. Now the array is sorted. This is how bubble sort works under the hood. So to summarize, we have to traverse the array from left and compare adjacent elements. The higher one is placed at the right side. In this way, largest element is moved to the rightmost end at first. This process is continued to find the second largest and place it and so on until the array is sorted. Now, using these ideas, try to code the algorithm by yourself. Don't worry, I will be waiting. Yes, I am waiting. Now, let's look at my code. We have a basic structure of a C file. We have included the header file. We have a print array function which prints the array. In the main function, we have declared and initialized an array to work with. We have a variable n which contains the size of the array. We call a print array function before the array is sorted. Then we call the bubble sort function to sort the array using the bubble sort. After the bubble sort, then we call the print array function to print the array after sorting. Then we implement a swap function which just swaps x and y. Then we implement the bubble sort which takes parameters array and the size of the array. In the bubble sort, we implement or we declare a swapped function which is used to check if there was a swap. If there was no swap, then the array is sorted. So if the swapped variable contains zero, it means the array has not been swapped. That is, the array is sorted. If the swap variable contains 1, which means true, the array is swapped or array is not sorted. Below that variable, we have a for loop which runs from 0 to n minus 1. At first, in the for loop, we update the swapped function to 0, meaning no swap has taken place. Below that, we implement another for loop which runs from 0 to n minus i minus 1, meaning it does not traverse us over the sorted region. In the for loop, we check an if condition, checking if the adjacent element is less than the element. If s, then we update the swapped variable to 1 
and then we swap the current element with its adjacent element. After the for loop, we check an if condition checking if there was a swapping took place meaning if there was swapping. If no swapping took place then we exit the for loop. Now let's look at the output here as you can see the input was not sorted after we run the bubble sort we see that our input is sorted by the way if you need the source code it is in the description the time complexity of bubble sort is big o of n square as we had two nested loops now why to use bubble sort bubble sort is easy to understand and implement it does not require any additional memory space and it is a stable sorting algorithm that is it maintains the relative order of the element in the sorted output why not to use bubble sort it has a time complexity of big o of n square which makes it slow for large data sets bubble sort is a comparison based sorting algorithm that is it requires a comparison operator to determine the relative order of elements in the input data set which can limit the efficiency of the algorithm in certain cases finally to prove yourself that whether you have understood the bubble sort try to sort the array in descending order just prove yourself if you succeed to sort in descending order then congrats you have mastered bubble sort and you have proved yourself if you fail then rewatch the video and understand the idea behind the algorithm and try the ascending order first then move on to the descending order and eventually you will succeed and prove yourself finally congratulations and signing out